Hey guys, um, thank you for joining me on my channel again this week. So um, we are continuing on from the uh, previous review. So um, last week, if you saw my video, you would have seen me talking about the Sansco um, CCTV system. And uh, my video was a bit waffly last week. And the reason being was literally because I took it out of the box there and then and I set up live in front of you guys. And that was just to show you guys um, how easy or how difficult it is to set up. And as we found out, it was pretty straightforward to set up. Um, and I kind of talked to you through some of the features that I discovered as I was going through all of the different menus and just clicking different buttons. Um, this week, what I wanted to do was delve into some of those features and functions in a bit more detail, just to show you guys how it works. I've had a chance to play around with the system, so um, hopefully this video will be a little bit shorter, just to show you guys how all of the different features and functions work. What I will talk to you guys about this week will be um, how to set up the different recording modes, how to set up motion detection, and then also um, I'll show you how to set up email alerts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt my uh, camera to my PC monitor, and then you'll be able to see what I'm currently recording, and I'll be able to show you how all of the menus and functions work. So if I just twist this along this way, and we hopefully should be able to, you guys should be able to see my um, menu, and all of the buttons that I press, it will probably be back to front, I think, um, but I think you guys should be okay. So if I want to set up my, so as you can see, I've just got one camera at the moment. If I go into record mode, I can select the different types of recording um, that I want. So at the moment I've got it on manual, which means it's continuously recording. I can have it on scheduled. So if I click on schedule, I can have it recording um, during certain, times of the day and I can choose up to four periods throughout the day so it wouldn't just be you know you can have it recording between the hours of I don't know uh, 6 and 10 p.m and that's it you can have it recording you know between 6 and 10 and then not recording for another two hours and then recording again so you can have it recording at uh, multiple points and then if you wanted a particular camera to stop recording you can just choose um, whichever one you want there and as you can see I can apply those settings to every single camera or I can apply those settings just to a select few cameras. So if I uh, right click on the menu, I'm sorry, on anywhere on the screen, you can see it brings up all of these options. And what I wanna do is I wanna click on main menu. When I'm on main menu, you then wanna click on record. And from record, you wanna click on record configuration. And from there, what you will see is, it's just cut off a little bit. So I'm gonna cut myself off. And I'm going to show you guys the screen. So <clears throat> from here, what you can see is this is your sort of recording configuration for every single uh, camera. And you can see if you've got eight cameras, you will have the drop down and you can go in and customize the format for every single camera um, independently. So I could have each camera scheduled to record at different times throughout the day, or I can have all of the cameras scheduled to record at the same time. And what you can also do is if you decide that you want to set up all your camera to schedule recording at um, a particular time, you can actually um, set one camera up. For, so for in, in this instance, I can set camera one up. I can then go to advanced and I can copy all of the settings and I can then go to camera two and I can hit advanced and I can hit paste. And those settings will then apply to camera two and then you can do that to all of the cameras. Um, alternatively, you can go back to the other menu that I showed you guys and just select schedule for all of them. And then you would have um, the uh, alarm scheduled for the same time for every single camera. So if we were to set up camera one, um, I could, uh, what I want to make sure is I click schedule first. And then um, on schedule, what it's got is the length of time that each uh, clip is recorded for on the camera. So it's recording for 60 minutes before it, um, loops it into a different file. So it will record, um, for example, if I'm recording first thing in the morning, the first 60 minutes may be from nine to 10, that's saved as one file, then the next one saved, and then the, and then the next one saved and so forth. Um, and then you've got the periods that you wanna record. So I can select uh, different periods for each one and I can just go into here and change the times. If you make a wrong selection, you can just click there or there and you can skip and, or delete. So, once I've chosen my different um, scheduled recording modes, all I then have to do 
Just click on OK and that's that setup saved. Again, like I said before, if you want to um, quickly change the different uh, recording modes, you just right click and then hit recording mode and you can see that's on schedule and if I, for example, decided I no longer want it on schedule and I want it to record manually, just go back onto there and click OK. <clears throat> and that's it, that's done. So really straightforward, guys. If um, I wanted to record a particular area, so in this uh, picture, you can see there's a gate here and there's a window here. So if, for example, I wanted to just record this gate and this window, I can also um, specify to the system that this is the bits that I want you to focus on. Um, and if any motion is detected in this area or in this area, then start to record. So to do that, what you want to do is right click again, go to main menu, and then I want to go to alarm. And once I click on alarm, I've got motion detection. Um, so you can see on the uh, bottom, it says configure all video detection parameters, active area sensitivity levels, alarm output, etc. Video blind is settings for blind detect parameters. I'm not sure what that is and I'll try and cover that in my next video because it seems like it could be quite interesting. Um, but I'm not entirely sure what this actually does. So um, let's take you guys through motion detection. So for motion detection, again, we're setting up camera one. I'm going to click on enable and that unlocks all of these settings right here. Um, and then I can choose a sensitivity. So. Uh, if you set it to very high, you'll probably find anything, that, even a cat, anything that moves a bit too much in front of the camera will trigger this off um, and it will start to record if you set it and then, you know, it works down on the sensitivity. What I would do is I would start off with probably one of the higher ones and then work my way down by testing it and I'd just test it with... I don't know, firstly try walk in front of the camera, then try something smaller and work your way down until you find a sensitivity that you're kind of happy with. Um, what you can then do is you can also um, have a buzzer. So what that buzzer does is um, it's got a, a little alarm inside the box and every time it detects uh, motion detection, it buzzes inside to let you know it's detected something. I can also set it up to send email. So what I'm going to show you on this video is how to send an email um, with a motion detection alarm and notification. So we're going to take that in this instance. And I also can select which channels I want to record. So I can select all my channels or if I'm setting them up individually, I will select channel one. Um, if you have pan, tilt or zoom activation, you can also set that here. Um, in this instance, we don't have a PTZ camera, so we're not going to set that up. And then um, you can also have the system display a message if it detects notification. So if it detects, um, sorry, not notifications, if it detects movement. So next time I log on um, and I open my camera system up, it will tell me, you know, motion was detected on your last um, recording. And that just gives me an opportunity to go back and view what's happened. So I've kind of talked to you through all of this. Now let me show you how you set motion detection in a specified area. So in this section here, you've got this button called region and it's just a set. So I'm just going to click on that and you can see everything kind of turns to this red hue. And that basically means at the moment, motion detection is activated in this entire area. So if anything moves anywhere, it's going to activate my motion detection. Now if I had that set up on high or low or whatever, if the neighbor's cat decided to walk along that roof, um, it would trigger an alarm um, and I might not want that. So to get rid of motion uh, detection in that area, all I'm gonna do is click and that I'm left clicking and selecting the areas that I don't want it to record in. So I don't want all of this, um, I don't want all of this, but I do want the gate and then I do want the window. But as you can see, I've accidentally, um, I unselected that so to select it it's really easy I just click back on an individual square or I can just drag and I can just say yep I want to record all of these bits here and then I've missed this bit off the gate so I'm just going to say okay let me also record this bit here and that's and that's it and then all I do is I've set it there and you can see all I then do is once I've got the areas that I want to record I right click again and it takes me back to the menu click OK and that's it done. So again, pretty straightforward guys. 
The final thing that I'm going to show you now that I've set up my alarms and I've set up my motion section is for the system to actually email me every time it detects motion. So I am going to go into system. So all I've done is if I take you all the way back out, right click, main menu, system, and then you will see this box that says net service. So that's what's going to help us set up email services. So I'm going to double click on this. And then on here, you have this option which says um, email. So what I want to do is double click on this and I want to hit on, uh, I want to hit enable. And here is where you will type in the server. So for example, if you're using an AOL system, um, you need to select that. You need to also select the port. And I think some people, um, from what I've read, have struggled. Uh, don't use the default port. I think you have to use either port 425 or 465. And you wanna click on, there we go, 465, and you need to use need SSL. And then in here, you will type in the username of your email address. So um, if it was joeblogs at hotmail.com, that's what I would type in there. And then I type in the password for my email address. So again, I will type in the email for uh, email and password for joeblogs at hotmail.com. I would then put in the sender's email address. So in, in, in this instance, I am literally setting up to email myself. So I'm gonna put in joeblogs at hotmail.com. And then I'm also then gonna put in uh, the receiver who's also um, gonna be uh, myself again. So I'm sending it to myself essentially. And all this system does is once it's connected to the network, it goes into your email account, generates an automatic uh, email, and it emails it to yourself. Um, and I can put that title into whatever I want. So I can just say, um, for example, if channel one, which or camera one in this instance is the back gate, I can just set this message to motion detected at back gate. Um, and that's gonna then come straight into my inbox. Most people check their emails pretty regularly and I can see, oh, okay, motion's being detected at my back gate. Um, and let me see what's on the footage. And it will, uh, um, and then I know once I get home or um, if I've got this set up for mobile, I can log into my camera network and see exactly what's happening as well. So that's really it. So um, it's pretty straightforward. So once you've got this set up, the hardest bit is probably getting the, SMTP server from your email provider and then the rest is pretty straightforward and then once you've got this set up the other thing that you can do that I forgot to mention is click on mail testing and if you click on that what that does is it actually sends a test email from the account um, to wherever you've set as the recipient and then that's a um, good way just to make sure that everything's working as it should do so that's pretty much it in terms of how you set up motion detection, how you set an alarm um, or schedule uh, recordings, and finally, how you set um, email notifications. So thank you for tuning in um, this week, guys, and um, join me next week for um, another video on some of the features and functions that this comes with.